And welcome Fight Night Champion fans. Welcome to your uh, dose of Fight Night Champion. And welcome to Mr. Tickle's Boxing Bonanza. Yes, this is a new idea. A new concept for Dave's Games TV. What we're going to do is we're going to fight with my character Mr. Tickle. And we're going to talk about boxing at the same time. Like relevant uh, fights that are going on either soon or just happened. So here we are, we're using Mr. Tickle, I think that's the first thing we should do is introduce you to Mr. Tickle. He likes to tickle his opponents, he uh, has purple hair as you can see, he also likes to eat lots of pies, and he doesn't really like to train, what he does like to do is tickle his opponents with big power streets. <coughs> Excuse me, so here he is, Mr. Tickle. And he's taking on a guy uh, who's got Afro Man written on his shorts who thinks he's not going to get tickled off Mr. Tickle. But that that is exactly what's going to happen. So what I'm trying to do at the moment is I'm moving the head movement and I'm sort of spamming a little bit with the power straight and hooks to the body. Rubber cuts, using a lot of power there, trying to catch Afro Man coming in. But uh, Afro Man is tiring himself out. If I had caught him there with that rubber cut, he would have gone. But Mr. Tickle is going to get out. He's oh, Mr. Tickle's being tickled. That's not good. Now that's not a good sign. Mr. Tickle's being tickled. But uh, yes, he's going to get up. He's going to uh, brush himself down, and he's going to get out his tickling stick and batter Mr. Afro Man. Mr. Afro Man made a mistake by having the nerve, the audacity to crack Mr. Tickle hard with an uppercut. So yeah, this is going to be a more interesting fight than I originally thought. I thought I was going to like bang him out in a round or two, but the guy obviously has some moves, so I'm going to have to be a little bit more cautious. <clears throat> But as I said when the fight started, we are going to talk about uh, boxing, the sport of boxing, and fights that have recently happened or are going to happen. Now, one of the most recent uh, biggest fights was Khan versus Canelo. Now I thought Khan put up a pretty decent performance, considering. But, that, I mean, the punch that knocked him out, I think it would have knocked out a horse. It was just one of those punches that whoever Canelo hit, um, he would have he would have knocked out. And, unfortunately, in the ring with him at the time was, was Amir Khan. So he got caught, and I think we're not hearing much from Amir Khan in the future. He might go back to welterweight. He was talking about it on YouTube, uh, whether he does that or not. We'll see. I mean, I do rate him as a boxer. He's got great skills. He, he's really quick, quite accurate, but uh, he's not the most powerful boxer in the world. And he, he, let's face it, he's got no chin. So, yeah, that is the first fight we've discussed now on Mr. Tickle's Boxing Bonanza. Amir Khan versus Canelo Alvarez. Uh, the heavyweight division. Now, at the moment, the heavyweight division, especially in the UK, is just, it's awesome. You've got David here making a comeback. You've got uh, Anthony Joshua, and obviously you've got Tyson Fury. You've also got, in in the sort of, waiting in the wings, you've got Dillian White, and of course Derek Chisora. Now, I personally would like to see a fight between Derek Chisora and Dillian White. I mean, comment below if you agree. I mean, what a fight that would be. Because Dillian White is the only guy really to put any sort of performance on against Anthony Joshua. And even though I think uh, Chisora is washed up, Chisora can still hit. And I just think that would be a real, you know, good matchup. Uh, the, the feared and big hitting Chisora and the sort of one defeat against on his record. Uh, up and coming Dillian White I for one would buy a ticket to that match uh, also Tyson Fury against David here now Tyson Fury says it's never going to happen because David here apparently 
pulled out of, uh, of the fight twice against Tyson Fury. Now David here may have been, you know, being financially smart there, maybe he saw Tyson Fury had the potential to win the title and maybe he saw a big money fight against him further down the line rather than taking him on earlier, risking losing and uh, losing a, a big pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. I, I think if the money's right, I think Tyson Fury will get into the ring with David here. But I'm a little bit worried uh, with the way he's talking at the moment. He's talking about, you know, just before he steps into the ring with the ex-world champion, Vladimir Klitschko, he's talking about retiring, he's talking about hating the sport, he's talking about being overweight. He's not talking like a confident fighter. Maybe he's got something up his sleeve. I personally think Tyson talks or says it the way it is. It, that's why he gets himself into so much trouble. He just says it the way it is. And I think he's not sure if he's going to be clips caught a second time. Around. I hope he does, because I want to see him fight uh, Joshua. Again, that's a classic matchup. You've got a boxer like Tyson, a big, you know, quick heavyweight against this big, powerful ox of a man, bull of a man, uh, Anthony Joshua. It reminds me of Frank Bruno, but a sort of a quicker version of Frank Bruno. So, yeah, we've got some great fights coming up. Again, write in the comments if you're a boxing fan. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'd love to know what if people think Tyson Fury will beat Anthony Joshua. Oh, Mr. Tickle has just tickled Afro Man. That's what happens if you upset Mr. Tickle. Those hooks aren't getting through at all. He's gone for the old wave and he's trying to uppercut me off the wave. But Mr. Tickle's having none of it. He's going to give it the oaty quarty in the corner, Mr. Tickle, as the round comes to an end. So, yeah, as I was saying, you know, feel free to comment underneath with any talk that you have or, or comments about boxing, fights past, present or future. And if you think Tyson Fury's got a, a chance against Joshua, comment below. If you think Joshua's going to bang Tyson out, comment below. If Tyson beats Klitschko. And who do you think would win against David here and uh, Tyson Fury? Because I've got a soft spot for here. He, he's technically, in my opinion, a great boxer. Not as big as Klitschko. Didn't fight the right fight against Klitschko. But for a, a decent fight, and whether his toe was hurt or not, uh, I think he'd be on top of his game if he does fight Fury. I personally think, as much as I do admire David here, I think Fury would beat him. I think he's too big, he's too quick, he wouldn't mix it up with David here, so David here wouldn't land those powerful shots that he's got. And I think Tyson Fury would uh, either knock him out late or beat him on points. Because David A does tend to tire. Uh, he looked like he was tiring just before he knocked out uh, Chisora. And I think if it had gone another three or four rounds, the outcome of that fight might have been different. But I think Tyson Fury will outbox him. I think they'll stay away. He, Tyson Fury don't really get hit. If you watch him against Klitschko, he got hit three or four punches and he just totally outboxed him. Uh, and a big man with a big reach like that against a little man like David A, I think we're going to see a similar result to what we did when Klitschko fought him. And he'll just keep him behind the jab, land right hands, move away from him, and David he'll nullify David A's power and speed. So yeah, as I said, feel free to comment below and let's get back to this fight with Mr. Tickle and Afro Man because I think Mr. Tickle is going to have him he's going to have Afro Man yes so the round comes to an end again uh, hmm got no idea who's winning this fight I presume it's me landing those big powerful shots. I think Afro Man 
should stick to uh, I don't know American football or take up some other sport because he's about to get knocked spot out he's about to get tickled something proper He's using the step back with that cross block, which is not a bad little uh, combo, the cross block step back. Right hand over the top. I'm trying to hurt him with the body. I think I've landed some powerful, powerful body shots. Oh, and down he goes! He's been tickled again by Mr. Tickle. What a right uppercut. Boom! Down he goes. Oh, he's struggling getting up. He's struggling getting up. Oh, he's trying. He's trying. He's, he's, oh, he's up. He's up. All right. Let's uh, dust off those gloves and let's bang him again. Nice uh, right jab, left straight combo. And oh, he's got again. An uppercut to the body. Down goes after him, man. He, he doesn't like being tickled to the body. Oh. oh, oh, and he's quit. Oh, dear me. The connection to your opponent has been lost. Oh, well, there's a surprise. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Quitters can't fight, and fighters can't quit. That's what I see.